Hello, this is Sensei Michael with Team Lee Karate. Uh, today we have a, a short uh, video lesson uh, added to our self-defense series. On uh, Today we're going to be doing shoulder grab, uh, a crisscross shoulder grab. So today I have uh, Rachel helping me. Uh, we're going to start out uh, straight stance and she's going to go right hand grabs crisscross my shoulder. Uh, so that guy could have me up against the lockers or uh, out in the playground or something like that. And, have me. Uh, first thing that we do in this situation, most of you guys know, is a pin. I've got to make sure that she doesn't know that she's got uh, control of me. Right now, she's, in, she's the boss. She's got me. She can shake me around. She can punch me. Oh, she can knee strike me or something or all sorts of things. Well, first thing I want to do is I'm going to take my left hand. I'm going to pin it across. That means I hold her hand down real tight to my shoulder. She's thinking, I've got you. But when I grab her, so you know I've got you, that guy. You're not your mind now. So at this position, uh, I'm going to do an arm, arm bar. Now, if it's a big, strong, bad guy, uh, we know we have a tension getter, things that cause pain to loosen them up. So I could do a knee strike, uh, or a groin strike right here. I could do a knee strike to the body um, to loosen them. After I loosen them up, I'm going to take my right hand and go across her arm. I'm going to grab that elbow. Now, you notice my, my hand position in here. Uh, I can't go in the same side, one, because I don't have any strength on that arm. I, can, I can't even, you know, touch my shoulder with that hand. So I'm not going to be able to push it like this, which some of you may be used to doing when we go uh, straight across. In and over here. Uh, so that's why I need to kind of crisscross and reach over the top. I'm going to grab her elbow. Now, right now, her elbow's facing the back. It bends that way. It's normal. But what I do is I grab that elbow, rotate it over, so now her elbow is facing the ceiling, and pull down on it. That arm's not supposed to bend that way. So I step back with my right foot, gives me some more stability. Both my toes are pointing straight ahead. I'm going to keep my elbow close to my side. Gives me more strength than if I'm trying to push down on it like this. This is all arm power. If I come here, I have my whole legs and core working to control her. I have her down here, head is in a more vulnerable position. I pick up my right leg and I do a strong kick out beside her head uh, in class. Boom. In real life, of course, I'm kicking at the face. So I go bang, hit her in the face. I catch her teeth as she falls out. I grab about three or four of them for me to take home to the tooth fair because I'm not going to do this for free, right? You're picking on me. I'm going to get something out of it. Bang. All right, I got your teeth. I'm going home getting paid. Maybe not that last part. but. You guys get the idea. Uh, so one more time, kind of slow motion. Uh, I reach across, grab. Right hand comes over the elbow, grabs it, rotates it. Step back, right foot, pulls him down here. Right leg comes up. Strong kick, strong key eye. Hey! On the side. Okay. Uh, Rachel, stand up. Now she's going to do it uh, more full speed, kind of looking like a black belt. Uh, and have a loud, strong key eye at the end. Okay? Uh, so I come across and I grab. Ah! Okay. So uh, thank you guys for watching. My name is Sensei Michael. Remember uh, to like us on Facebook, Team Lee Karate. Uh, and we also have a webpage, TeamLeeKarate.com, that you can find uh, videos like this, uh, some combos, uh, other self-defense moves. Uh, help you pack at home. And remember, as always, uh, be careful if you're going to do this at home. Uh, it's good to do it maybe with, with mom or dad, real slow motion. Make sure you're not kicking at their face. It's probably not a good idea to do it with brother or sister where you get rough housing and before you know it, somebody is missing a few teeth, you know, and, and then you got to explain that to mom and nobody wants to have to do that. Okay? So uh, always be very, very careful with it. So uh, thank you, and I will see you in class. Attention.